Thanksgiving dinner here at Denver 7 tonight had <laughs> carrots and potatoes. Yeah. I mean, it was so good. So thanks to Denver 7 for that. <laughs> we know that a lot goes into growing those vegetables, and students at Bruce Randolph School know that as well. Yeah, Denver 7's Micah Smith shows us how one program is teaching agricultural skills while also benefiting the community. I like cilantro. I like the smell of it and just how big it grows. A lot of like teachers or people that help around the school will come in, take some of it. Yeah, yeah. students as well. Inside this hydroponic farm at Bruce Randolph School in Denver, students Ashley Prieto, Lizette Nunez, and Kimberly Serrano are growing fresh produce with some help. It's a really great opportunity for our students and for our communities. From farm educator Mariah Middlebrooks. We grow produce in water instead of in the ground directly, and so it's a different way of growing food and a quicker way of growing food. How much food are you growing? So our farm has the capacity to grow 10,000 pounds of produce annually. Um, we grow to an order basis, so I'm not growing any excess food so that we can offshoot waste as well. While we are fighting food injustice, we are fighting food waste. And Middlebrook says the food is free for students, staff, and their families. We are in the middle of a food desert, so basically our closest grocery store that has affordable groceries and fresh produce is about 15 minutes away by car. And in this area particularly, that may or may not be the case for every family to have a vehicle. And so then that makes it even more hard to get to a grocery store and able to buy fresh produce. And because of the success of this farm, just outside the school doors, the school is building a greenhouse. We're very lucky. Denver Foundation um, helped us with our grant money, and we are now about to finish building our new greenhouse, another way for us to grow whatever we can, really, to teach our students different ways of growing food. Have you noticed the impact? Uh, I definitely have. I just enjoy seeing how our work has led to people being fed. And it's led to students being able to feed themselves, not just in school, but throughout life. What I learned here, I was able to use at home and like grow my own strawberries and things like that. Mm -hmm. So I feel like it's going to be helpful and I can just help my dad from now on and like show him what I learned here. Reporting in Denver, Micah Smith, Denver 7.